Christmas is a joyous time for most people, despite the suicide rate. And <laughs> I thought, what a great contrast. Let's take the most joyful time and insert into it um, terror. Black Christmas became like a cult classic. I remember meeting Steve Martin for this picture, Roxanne, a long time ago, and he said, you were in one of my favorite films of all time. And I said, oh, Romeo and Juliet? And he said, no, Black Christmas. I loved it. Saw it 27 times. It's totally an underrated film. I remember the first time I saw it, like, it must, I must have seen it before Halloween, and I remember it freaked me out. A sorority house filled of uh, young women are staying there over Christmas break, and a maniac is loose and kills them one by one. Some of the Friday the 13th gave you the point of view. You became Jason killing the teenagers. Black Christmas was like that. It was like, because you never saw the guy and only heard his laugh, you saw his point of view, you were the creepy guy living in the attic. The one death by saran wrap, plastic wrap, is something in itself, but that body is propped up in a window at the sorority house and sits there throughout the entire film and remains undiscovered. Then later, uh, when she's there and you can see the plastic is in the mouth, it's again a very ungraphic way of signaling to the audience how horrible it must have been. You never find out who the killer is or why he's killing people. And I think that a lot of people are unsatisfied by that ending, but actually I think it's brilliant. If this movie doesn't make your skin crawl, it's on too tight.